All right, we've got a different thing today. I know I always say here at Switch and Click we dive deep into mechanical keyboards, but this one's different as well. So we're branching out. We're seeing what other items, tech-related items that are computer set up, computer uh, peripheral related things we can also get into. I know sometimes you get tired with mechanical keyboards, sometimes I get tired of mechanical keyboards. Just kidding, I don't. We actually have a shipment of mechanical keyboards coming in soon and we're really excited about them actually. So in this video we're reviewing something that's a little old but I think it's still relevant to our time right now despite being 2020 and I first bought this headset in 2017. All right, so it's high, it's 2020, but we got the Hyper X Cloud 2 gaming headset. So we actually have two. We have one that I bought in 2017, and then we have another one where we that we bought in the end of 2019. So the red one is being used right now, but we got all the parts here, so no need to worry. Are they still good in 2020? I have no idea. We're gonna do a sound test at the end, to, to, so stay tuned for that. And then the cost of these is 80 to 100 dollars, depending on which one you get. The silver and black is 100 and the red and black is 80 from whence I last checked. Is that even a word? I don't know, but it sounds fancy. Okay, so here's what it comes with out of the box. We have the sound mixer or amplifier, whatever you like to call it, and it connects to your PC via a USB port on it. You have quick access volume controls as well as turning on 7.1 surround sound or not and you can also mute your microphone really quick and this is what makes this headset special without it it just sounds like any other regular headset and then we also have headset itself which comes attached to the cable and then all you do is you connect the audio end into the mixer and then that's how you connect it to your computer. And as you can see, there's a lot of wire. It's very long. You don't need to worry about I don't, disconnecting your wires because you step too far. I do a lot of walking in place or running in place while listening to something back in the day. So you don't have to worry about that. And then the 2017 one came with a different bag. So this bag is quite thick. It has a Velcro open slot in the front. And then the new 2019 bag does not have a Velcro slot. And it's not as thick, it's much thinner and more see-through. They both have the HyperX logo. And then they both come with a airplane adapter jack. I don't know when the last time I used this was. Probably on an international flight when I was super young. And then you also get these velvet ear cups, which are quite sweat inducing and don't block out noise as well. So I don't use these ever. I use the ple the, the faux, faux leather, leather ones that come on the headset itself. These are much better at isolating noise and they give it its cloud texture. So real soft. Very nice and out of all the headsets that I've used, so I used to have a Audio-Technica MSR7 headset and that really compressed my head and didn't feel very comfortable. I currently have a Bose QuietComfort 35 II and those are nowhere near as comfortable as these for long-term use despite having comfort in their name, but the noise canceling on that's pretty amazing. So that makes a difference. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Betty and this is Switch and Click and subscribe if you're enjoying the video, press that thumbs up button and we'll jump right back into the room. At the top we have some fancy 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 stitching here in HyperX and then we have the white stitching here on the edges. Have the metal plates as well as the metal inserts on the headset. The stitching on the red ones look different and it's I would say lower in quality than this pair that I got so long ago. Unfortunately despite it looking super sturdy it does have a bunch of plastic joints like right here where the metal inserts to 
here where the metal inserts to as well but overall it's been about three years and these are still going strong no problems with audio no problems with the mic i used to stream with the mic on quite often not anymore ever since i stopped doing that and got myself a standalone mic so 2017 silver ones and then 2019 uh, red and black ones so they look a little different they feel a little different but same thing really sweaty doesn't isolate noise that well here we have the microphone and it's very bendable very twisty has a windscreen at the top and it's really easy to insert you have the hole right there you have the jack and you just push it in push it in make sure you click it in all the way or else it doesn't work properly and i've done that a few times where i don't push it in all the way and it just falls right back out so very comfortable you can move it in front of your mouth if you want or on the side it can get longer by just pulling but then it's really weird and uncomfortable i have a small head and I use the smallest settings. It's, it doesn't compress my head at all. It sort of just sits on top, very comfortable. The top cushion is also pretty cloudy as well. So overall, really great headset. It's pretty sturdy. The stitching's high quality. It looks high quality. The sound isn't amazing, but it gets the job done. Like I used to stream on Twitch using just this headset and it worked wonderfully. No one was complaining about the audio. No one was complaining about, oh, your keyboard's too loud. I can hear everything. But they do that now because I have a Blue Yeti that pretty much picks up everything and I have all the noise gates that don't let it pick up those sounds. So it's a little bit annoying when you upgrade and get a mic that's fancy so let's talk about the cable it is braided it feels really nice very sturdy it doesn't pick up kinks at all it's really easy just lengthen the only downside is that it's so long that i don't know where to put the excess cable so so something to know about the sound mixer is that it works only on pc and ps4 with the usb connector if you're using xbox or mobile you don't want to use a mixer and you just want to use the the 3.5 jack instead um, but if you're using just that then the microphone won't work properly it's just for listening all right so overall in 2020 i would say this is still a great product to purchase the mixer is really convenient for muting on the go if someone's talking to you turning up and down the volume turning up and down your mic muting the mic super easy to use and then the headset super comfortable if you're just listening to music they function really well too just plug out the detachable microphone throw it somewhere just kidding put it in the bag that it comes put it in the awesome bag that it comes with 30 and then just listen to it like that for gaming it gets the job done the microphone is pretty decent the audio is really decent don't expect it to be like the Astro A40s with the mixer where you hear like, oh, that guy's coming from the left. Oh, that guy's coming from like back here, 90, I don't know, 100 something degrees to behind me. Like that's not to the extent that these headphones are going to work for you. And those are just like next level with their mixer and their surround sound and everything. That's different, but those also cost a ton of money. So for about 80 to $100, this headset, this headset is still really good. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. This is what the headset sounds like and it's pretty close to my mouth as you can see. So I'll bring it a little bit out. Here we have it a little bit farther and let me go type something so you can hear that as well. And we're not doing the whole minute, but that seems to sound pretty good. So I'm going to stop the sound test here. And this audio doesn't seem in sync with 
the webcam because my Streamlabs is out of sync. Back to the video. It's high quality and it's probably going to last you several years. These that I have are three years and then my husband has his set that's still going strong but that's only a year old and then my brother has the Cloud Ones which have been going on for about five years now so extremely high quality, long lasting. I trust HyperX with many of their products and although I don't do too much gaming anymore, these are just so comfortable. I think that's their biggest advantage is that they're very cloudy and comfort is probably number one with these better than any other headset that I've tried but again I have a small head and it sort of just sits on top of my head and it doesn't compress my head at all and music sounds really good coming out of them they let me work even with distractions around me so I know I'm not as gamery as some of you people, but still overall high quality headset. So question of the day, how do you feel about switch and click reviewing peripherals that are outside of mice and keyboards? And I don't know, would you watch it? Would you not? This is just something that I've been using for so long and I really want to recommend it to you guys. There's other things, like I'm not going to review my my rival 100 mouse, like that's weird. But we do have a mouse coming in soon that we are going to review. So I know the recent videos have been different and how do you feel about that? Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to check out our mechanical keyboard reviews, press here. And then for another video by us, press here. Subscribe here if you want to. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Also, links down below if you want to check out the products. I know they're old. Not that old, though. Not as old as me. So, anyway, see you next time. Bye.